All right, TAC fans, this is a follow-up video to the geospatial video we did. Um, a lot of people ask, you know, why we like to fly our UASs and TAC so much. One of those is that geospatial video component, also the augmented reality. We'll show some off, some of the capabilities off in the UAS tool. We also have the ability to do remote gimbal control, task um, the drone remotely if if we want. So I'm over out here at our station five in Corona and the UAS that's flying is out here at our station four. All right, and so I can do a couple things. I can just click on the UAS if I want and hit the play button and I can see it flying around above the station right now. And that's just straight up plain view um, of the UAS. Now, if I use the UAS to a plug-in and connect, now I get what's called operator view. And so this is what the view, the operator gets. And then I have some other little tools I can do, like showing off augmented reality. So now if the, if the pilot was to fly over a tack marker um, that was set, as you'll see here, as it comes back over the fire station, you can see all of the tack users that are on there. Now if I was to drop a marker myself, if I was to come over here and, and grab a, a marker and drop it by the station, the next time he flies over that and brings it back to the station, You'll be able to see that marker that I dropped. And you can see that repeater mobile relay marker that I dropped is now um, in, in the field of view of both the pilot and me as the remote observer. If I wanted to do remote gimbal control, I would click this button here. It would ask for remote gimbal control and the pilot would have to um, um, give me a, the ability to do that. And so I just did that. I clicked on the map and then the camera is moving see I clicked in the middle over there, moved to the right And if we go full nader, I'm actually able to, um, you know, drop that video on the map as well. And I'll show you that. We'll back out of UAS tool, and we'll go back to just the video. And now I'll drop the live video right on the map. So you can see the cars here as they're driving on the map. So that's kind of the, the, uh, the nuts and bolts of it. You're able to drop, you know, Nader video or live geospatial video on the map. You get the field of view from the UAS even without UAS tool. And then with UAS tool, you're able to get that, that uh, you know, that live operator view and uh, gimbal control. You can also task the drone to fly to certain objects. So 
like I mentioned before, you know, just a ton of capability. We are on two different networks. Uh, so you could do this potentially anywhere in the world. You can also fly on your own LAN using uh, mesh radios. Just a lot of capabilities. I just want to say right now, though, I'm on LTE, and so is Mike Lucklider, our pilot, flying over at Station 4. Hope this was helpful, kind of explaining why uh, we like um, using the, the, the ATAC platform to, to fly our UASs in and share that, uh, that geospatial video.